Hello guys. So in this session, we are going to learn how to monitor Jenkins using Prometheus, Node Exporter, and Grafana. So here to monitor Jenkins. So here we are going to install first of all Prometheus, then Node Exporter, and then Grafana, and then in last we are going to set up our Jenkins, right? So let's start. So as you can see, this is my article. So we are going to follow this. So first of all, here you can see we need to install Prometheus, right? So as you can see here, here I have successfully launched my instance, right? And my instance type is t2.medium. Then let's start. So first of all, let's install Prometheus. So first of all, we need to create a system user for Prometheus. So using below command, so let's start. then next step is we need to create the directories so we need to create the directories in which we will be storing our configuration files and libraries so here i'm going to create two directories in this location so first of all slash edc and my directory name is prometheus and the second one is slash var slash lib directory and here also my directory name is prometheus okay now, the next step is we need to set the ownership of this directory, right? So, for that, I'm going to give some permissions using below commands. Okay. Now, to install Prometheus, we need to insert this slash TMP directory. Okay. Now, let's clear the screen first. Okay. Now, let's download our Prometheus, right? So, as you can see, here, my Prometheus version is 2.37.0, right? So, if you want to install the latest version of Prometheus, then you can go to the official site. So, as you can see, this is the official site of Prometheus. And in right side, you can see the Prometheus, right? So, as you can see, for Linux, you can see it's a tar.cz file, right? So, right-click and copy the link address. And here, I'm going to download with wget command. So enter wget and paste this link. So okay, it's done. Now let's clear the screen first. And if I run the ls command, as you can see our tar.cz file, okay. So now we need to extract this file. So how to extract? So here I'm going to use this tar command to extract my file. So let's extract our file. sudo tar and then hyphen xvf and our tar.cz file. So our file is here, right? So as you can see, it's extracted. So let's clear the screen and run the ls command. So you can see our extracted files with the name Prometheus and the version is 2.47.1, right? And this is the latest version. Okay, now the next step is after that, we need to move this configuration file to the ownership to the Prometheus user. So first of all, it's inside our file. Okay. Now the next step is we need to move this file into this Prometheus directory. Then next is move this Prometheus.yaml, that means configuration file, right? So let's move this configuration file. Okay, now the next step is we need to give the permission to this directory. Okay, now it's done. Now the second step, uh, sorry, next step is we need to move the binaries and the set the owner. So for that, I'm going to run these two commands. And second is here. Okay. Okay, it's done. Now, next step is we need to create our service file, right? So the location is here slash etc systemd system prometheus dot service, right? Our service file name is prometheus dot service. So here I'm going to create my service file using my favorite editor nano. And in this file, we need to paste this below code. So let's save the file and exit. 
After that, we need to reload our system using this command. Okay. After that, let's start our Prometheus. Then let's enable our Prometheus. And now let's see the status. So as you can see, it's active running, right? That means we have successfully installed Prometheus. So let's clear the screen. And now, after that, if you want to check the configuration file, so our this is our configuration file, Prometheus.yaml. So as you can see, as of now, there is only one job with the name Prometheus, right? So we will add uh, two more jobs here. So let's exit. And now let's access the Prometheus in our browser, right? So how to access, so first of all, copy your server IP, and then hit on browser. And the Prometheus port number is So as you can see, our Prometheus dashboard, you can see this is our Prometheus dashboard. If I go to the status and go to the target, so as you can see, there is only one target with the name Prometheus and the status is up. Okay, that means we have successfully installed Prometheus, right? Now it's time to install Node Exporter. So as you can see here, Node Exporter. So if you want to install the latest version of Node Exporter, then you can go to the official side of Prometheus. And here, click on Node Exporter. And as you can see, the Node Exporter latest version is 1.6.1, .1, right? So right click and copy the link address. And then here, let's install using wget command. So as you can see, it's downloading. Okay, there is a problem, so. Okay, so as you can see here in my article, so I'm going to use this command to install node exporter, right? So first of all, we need to inside the slash TMP folder. So that's why they give us error, right? So I'm going to clear the screen first and let's install. Prometheus using wget command. Okay, as you can see, it's done, right? So if I run the ls command, so as you can see our file tar.gz file. So we need to extract this file first. So how to extract? So the command is here. So using tar, we are going to extract our tar.gz file, right? So as you can see, it's done. Now let's clear the screen first and run the ls command. So as you can see our extracted file, right? Here. Okay. Now, now the next step is we need to move the binary file of node exporter, right? So that's why I'm going to run this command to move this binary file. Okay, it's done. Now the next step is we need to create node exporter user. So I'm going to create node exporter user using this command. Now the next step is we need to create custom node exporter service. That means node exporter service file, right? So I'm going to create my node exporter service file to this location. And here is the file. And let's paste here. Okay. Now let's save the file and exit. Okay. After that, let's reload our system. Okay. Now let's start our Prometheus. Sorry, let's start our node exporter. So let's enable first. Okay. Now let's check the status. So as you can see, it's active running. Okay. Now if you want to check the metrics of node exporter, then how to check? So first of all, copy your instance IP. 
and then hit on browser and the node exporter port number is 9100 right so as you can see node exporter prometheus node exporter and the version is and the matrix is here right so that's the matrix okay now the next step is here now let's update our configuration file prometheus configuration file why because we need to add our prometheus sorry node exporter job right in prometheus configuration file so let's open our prometheus configuration file we need to update this and here we need to add one more job with the name node exporter You need to be careful about indentation, right? So our job name is node exporter and the port number is 9100 and here we need to enter our server IP. That means our instance IP that we have installed our node exporter, right? So let's copy our instance IP and paste here. Okay, now let's save the file and exit. And as I told you, after changes any configuration file, we need to restart our server. So we need to restart our Prometheus service. So let's restart. So let's check the status for once. Okay, it's active running. Now let's go to the Prometheus and let's check. So here is our Prometheus, right? So let's go to the status and go to the targets. So wait for a few seconds, it's restarting. Okay, so as you can see, there is one more job with the name node exporter, right? Now we have two jobs here, Prometheus as well as node exporter and the status is up. Okay, now it's done. Now let's install Grafana, right? So download the Grafana GPG keys with wget and then pipe out to the apt key and this will add key to your apt installations list of trusted keys and which will allow you to download and verify gpg signed grafana package so let's install grafana so first of all let's run this command using wget so here i'm going to install grafana okay now the next step is here add the grafana repository to your apt sources So enter for continue. So as you can see, it's done, right? Let's clear the screen first. And now the next step is, let's update our system package. And now it's time to install Grafana. So let's install Grafana using sudo apt install Grafana command. So yes, I want to install. So as you can see, it's almost done. Now let's start our Grafana server. So let's enable first. And the command is sudo systemctl enable Grafana. And now let's check the status. Okay. Now it's active running, right? So let's access our Grafana server in our browser. So how to access? So first of all, copy your instance IP and hit on browser and the Grafana port number is 3000. So as you can see, it's loading Grafana.
Okay, so you can see welcome to Grafana, right? So it will ask our username and password. So the default username and password is gra admin admin, right? Username is admin and password also admin. So let's click on log it. After that, update your password for the security, right? If you want to update, then you can update. If you don't want, then you can skip this option. Now click on submit. So as you can see, this is our Grafana dashboard. You can see welcome to Grafana, right? So we have successfully installed Grafana also. Now let's monitor our node exporter here, right? So first of all, let's check. Let's monitor our node exporter here. So how to monitor? So first of all, click on data sources. Then our data source is Prometheus, right? So click on data Prometheus. And then here, enter our Prometheus server URL. So our Prometheus server URL is here, Prometheus server URL, right? So let's copy from here to here and paste here. And now click on save and test. So it's successfully, right? Now go to the home, that means dashboard. And now here, click on import dashboard. Now here enter the ID for dashboard, right? So for, for node exporter, the ID is 1860. Click on load and here select the data source. Our data source is Prometheus and click on import. So now as you can see our node export, right? So here we are going to monitor our node export, right? So as you can see the ROM, RAM, update time and the CPU. Right, you can see the data, right? Okay, now it's done. Now we have successfully installed Prometheus, we have successfully installed Node Exporter, we have successfully installed Grafana. Now here we are going to learn how to monitor Jenkins using Prometheus, Node Exporter and Grafana. So now it's time to install from uh, Jenkins, right? So as you can see, this is the official site of Jenkins, so you can use it. So here to install Jenkins, first of all, we need to install Java, right? So here I'm going to install OpenJDK 70. So first of all, we need to update our system package. So the command is, as you know, the how to update command, right? How to update. So the command is sudo apt update. So let's update our system package. Then let's install Open JDK 70. So, yes, I want to install. So, it's installing Open JDK 70, right? After installing Java, we are going to check our Java version, right? And then we are going to install Jenkins on our Ubuntu 22.048. Yes. So it's almost done. Yeah. Now let's check the status. Sorry, let's check the version. So as you can see, 17.0.8.1. Right. That means you have successfully installed Java. Now it's time to install Jenkins. So as you can see, our operating system is Ubuntu. Right. So the command is here. So let's install Jenkins. So first of all, I'm going to install Jenkins using wget command. So it's done. Now the next command is here. Okay, now let's update our system package so using sudo apt-get update. 
Okay. Now let's install Jenkins. So yes, I want to install. So as you can see, it's installing Jenkins. So it takes few seconds. After that, after installing Jenkins, we are going to start our Jenkins, then enable our Jenkins, and let's check the status, right? So it's almost done. Yeah, it's done. Now let's clear the screen first. Now let's enable our Jenkins first. Okay, now let's start our Jenkins. And now let's see the status of our Jenkins. So as you can see, it's active running, right? Okay. Now let's access our Jenkins in browser. So how to access? So copy your instance IP, then hit on browser. And our Jenkins port number is 8080. So getting started, right? So first of all here, it will ask for administrator password. So our administrator password in this location, right? So first of all, go to this location. So here I'm going to use my favorite editor nano and then paste the location. So here, as you can see the password, so let's copy the password. And let's paste here. You can continue. Now the next step is customize Jenkins, right? So here plug is extracted Jenkins with additional features to support many different needs. So here we need to install suggested plugins, right? Install plugins, the Jenkins community find most useful. So let's install suggested plugins. So as you can see, it's installing. So wait for a few seconds. So now as you can see, the next step is create our first admin user, right? So enter our username, admin name, password is also admin. And then confirm passwords, I'm going to enter admin. And then full name, enter your full name. So I'm going to add full name admin and enter the email, okay? Now click on save and continue. Now this is our Jenkins URL, right? So okay, save and finish. Now you start using Jenkins. So Jenkins is ready. So as you can see, this is our Jenkins dashboard, right? Okay. So now after installing Jenkins, so the first step is we need to go to the manage Jenkins and here we need to install some plugins, right? So click on plugins and go to the available plugins and here search for Prometheus. And as you can see, Prometheus metrics, right? So select and click on install. So as you can see, success, success, success. It's pending, so wait for a few seconds. Okay, so as you can see in Prometheus metrics, you can see there is a warning. Which warning? Prometheus plugin doesn't support dynamic loading. Jenkins needs to be restarted for the update to take effects. Right. So for that, we need to restart Jenkins. So how to restart? So the command is we need to restart Jenkins like that. So the system CTL restart Jenkins. So it's done. Now after installing, we need to log in our Jenkins, right? So you can see sign into Jenkins, so enter your username. So my username is admin and then enter our password. Click on sign, uh, sign in. Okay, so now you can see our Jenkins dashboard. 
After that, the next step is go to the manage Jenkins. Then go to the system. So as you can see here, let's scroll down. And you can see Prometheus, right? So the path name is Prometheus and the default name is default, right? And you can see the collecting matrix periods in seconds, right? So keep as it is, so click on apply and save, right? Okay, now go to the dashboard. Okay, now it's done. Now go to the dashboard and now Go to the Prometheus and you can see as of now in targets, there is only two jobs, right? First of all, Prometheus and second one is Node Exporter. Now it's time to add one more job with the name Jenkins, right? So that's why we need to open our configuration file. We need to update our configuration file. So let's update our configuration file. So our configuration file is here. Prometheus.yaml, right? And here we need to add our one more job with the name Jenkins. So I'm going to add new job here. So as I told you, you need to careful about your indentation. Okay. Now here enter your Jenkins IP, server IP. That means our instance IP, right? So let's copy our instance IP. Here. Okay, now check your indentation. Yeah, it's correct. Now let's save the file and exit. And as I told you, after changes any configuration file, we need to restart our server. So we need to restart our Prometheus. So the command is sudo systemctl restart Prometheus. If you want to check the status, then you can run the command Prometheus status. Okay, it's active running. Now let's go to the Prometheus and go to the dashboard and go to the target now. So now it's unknown, so wait for a few seconds, it's restarting. Okay, now you can see our three job, right? First of all, Prometheus, then Jenkins and Node Exporter. And the state is up. That means we have successfully added our uh, job in our Prometheus configuration file, right? Okay, now it's done. Now, let's go to the graph now. Now let's monitor our Jenkins server, right? So how to monitor? So here click on import dashboard and here enter your dashboard ID. So for Jenkins, so the dashboard ID is 9964. Right for Prometheus uh, Jenkins double nine six four. Click on load and now Jenkins. Here you can see the name is Jenkins Performance and Health Re Overview. Right and select our Prometheus. Right and click on import. Now, as you can see, the dashboard. Right, you can see the dashboard memory uses. Jenkins health and Jenkins node offline, the CPU uses, and so on. You can see the data, right? So you can see our Jenkins dashboard. I can see the time last 30 minutes. If you want to save the dashboard, then you can save from here, right? So it's done, right? So in this session, we have learned how to monitor Jenkins using Prometheus, Node Exporter, 
एंड ग्राफरा सो थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग